Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's a very special video today. I'm literally just gonna get straight into it. I'm doing a giveaway in today's video. It's going to be a skincare giveaway. As you guys know, I'm really passionate about skincare and so I wanted to partner up with a brand and offer you skincare. I have made these da -da -da -da, amazing boxes with Lumine. Now Lumine are a brand that I've recently launched in the UK. At the moment they're available on Feel Unique, feelunique.com and the products that I've put in this box are the products that I'm going to show you how to use in this video today. So let's open up a zip box. You get five products inside. What you get in it first of all is the best part. It's a congratulations on a card from me. Um, and then you get the skincare products. So this video is all about how to revive dull looking skin. As winter comes around, we find our skin getting more dry, more dull looking. So what I like to focus on is kind of brightening up the skin for winter and bringing a glow back to the skin. The way that you enter is by clicking the link that I will put in the description box under this video. When you click on that link, you'll be sent to an online form. You fill in some information in that online form, including your shade for the beauty serum because it comes in three shades. And you also go and you follow Lumine and Brandbox on Instagram. So just three steps. Online form and go and follow Lumine and Brandbox on Instagram. The giveaway will be open for one week and it is an international giveaway. So you can enter from any part of the world and five of you will be receiving this bad boy right here. Winners will be announced on the Brandbox Instagram account and they're also gonna be emailed. Let's go through the products. So today I start my routine off with the Lade Recovery Gel Mask. This is great, especially if you find that your skin gets really tight and dry with central heating during the winter. Also when you are inside where it's warm and toasty and cozy and then you go out into the harsh cold, you know, the, the biting winds and whatnot, um, that can really take a toll on the skin as well. So a gel mask is really great at kind of just giving that boost to the skin. And this mask definitely does do that. It really adds a glow to the skin immediately. The way that I like to use it is to take a teaspoon and sort of scoop out about half a teaspoon's worth of gel. And then I pop that onto my hand and apply it generously all over the face, avoiding the eye area and not getting too close to the mouth as well. It kind of just smells fresh. That's the best way that I can describe it. So you pop this on generously. I like to pat it as well, just to really uh, push the product into the skin. I take the excess and even put it all over my hands as well and just kind of let my hands and my face bathe in this stuff. You take it down your neck as well if you want. Let it soak for about five to 10 minutes and then you can either wash off with water or use a damp warm cloth to remove the product. And literally you will see immediately a glow appear on your face. The next thing that I used is the Valo Glow Boost Essence. This stuff is amazing. It smells gorgeous. It smells like oranges. Really wakes you up, like quite physically. Your senses are immediately kind of stimulated. The key ingredient in most of the skincare is vitamin C. Vitamin C is great for your skin. It's not only involved in collagen synthesis, which is what gives your skin that sort of plump look, but it also brightens up the skin. It gives the skin a more of an even look, so it helps with hyperpigmentation as well. And hyaluronic acid is what gives the skin that plump sort of appearance. So it basically just really smooths out the skin. This sinks into the skin very quickly. So I like to sort of massage with it really quickly, kind of, in upward motions. Most of the time you'll see me doing my skincare routine using kind of upward strokes. I feel like this really helps to lift the skin rather than to drag it down. Lumine boasts that they use these Nordic ingredients, things like pure Arctic spring water, specially selected skincare ingredients. All of them combined help to give this powerful radiance boosting skincare range. After the essence, I applied my eye cream. This is called Bright Eyes and it is again from the Valo skincare range with those vitamin C properties in the product. I love the packaging for this. It's just so simple and easy to use. So I like to start quite a way away from the eye and apply most of the product there and then whatever's left over on the fingers, which is a very tiny trace amount of the product, I then pull that up a little bit closer to the eye. It contains this berry called Arctic Cloudberry, which is these berries of Arctic or Nordic origin. I always love brands who harness sort of different and unusual ingredients from different parts of the world. Okay, next I applied the Valo Day Cream. This has an SPF of 15, which is 
always great because even in the winter you do need an SPF. And again, this contains vitamin C in a very small concentration so that over time you're kind of almost drip feeding your skin with vitamin C even through the day, which again, all of it cumulatively helps to protect the skin from environmental damage and also helps to clear up any sort of surface hyperpigmentation that you have on your skin. So this is a lovely sort of thick, luxurious feeling cream. Again, with a slight scent of sort of oranges. I use a cotton bud to just take out a small amount, dot that around my face, and then again, massage that really well into the skin. The Beauty Serum from Luminate is actually also infused with skincare ingredients, and it gives sort of tinted moisturizer type of coverage. The Beauty Serum is available in three shades, which is light, medium, and dark. I use the shade dark. This really feels like a serum. It does not feel like a foundation at all. It's much lighter than a lot of traditional serum foundations that I used and it gives a very light but you know like decent coverage it still does its job it still gives me that even skin tone that I want and it kind of adds a bit of color to my face as well which is always great all right and so that was the skincare part done I then did a very quick and easy makeup tutorial for you starting off with my under eye concealing I took a high coverage concealer which is the Arde Cosmetics flawless concealer with the Lumine Beauty Serum in medium I dotted both of these around my eyes and then with a combination of my finger and also the makeup sponge to pick up excess product I just blended the product around my eyes I then moved on to my eyes and used a very simple trick to just reduce that sort of pigmented look on my eyelids. I use the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. This is in the shade Malted Pink. I just added that, literally just colored in my eyelids, blended at the edge with my fingers, that's it. I did a quick winged liner, really thin one, using the Body Shop Smoky 2-in-1 Gel Liner. I then loaded up my lashes with loads of mascara. I used the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara. Like, they're not in your face, they don't take over the eyes, which is what I wanted. I wanted the key part of this look to be the lips. So you can see the lashes are just really subtle, but just frame the eyes really well. I also took down some of the shine on my forehead using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. This is really nice at taking away extra shine. I often use this if I'm filming. Next, you know me, I like to contour a little bit. This has to be done. I don't care if it's a light contour or a heavy contour, I'm always gonna contour. So I took the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil or Chocolat Soleil in medium. Popped that into the hollows of my cheeks, forehead, double chin, you know how that goes. For blush, I wanted to go really subtle, and again, I wanted to maintain that glowy look, so I used a cream blush. This is by Lancome. Um, it is their Blush Subtle Cream in number six. I moved on to the lips. I used three different products for the lips. I started off with a lip liner. This is by Absolute New York, a very deep burgundy shade. I then went over the top with the L'Oreal Paris Lip Color in Power, which is a beautiful brown. I did want to add a bit more dimension to that anyway, and so I popped over the top of that another shade called Domination kind of more an orangey red shade. And that's it, that's the whole look completed. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video, something a little bit different. I think I'm gonna really enjoy editing and putting it together. I hope you guys enter. I literally want every single one of you to enter, okay? No excuse, I'm gonna tell you on Instagram, I'm gonna go tell you on Twitter, on Facebook. Make sure that you enter and five of you will be winning this box. So good luck, and I'll catch you very soon in my next video. Take care, toodles.